Uh, we also have this news. The president officially ready to start renegotiating the North American Free Trade Agreement, the NAFTA deal. Let's bring an emerging market guru, Templeton Emerging Markets Group Executive Chairman Mark Mobius. But first to the news of the day, and you were just watching, and, and I saw the eyebrows raise when you, when you saw the witch hunt aspect of it. People here are saying, if it gets too dicey here in the U.S. because of what's going on in D.C., where else should I be putting my money? Well, you've got to look at these two countries that are the focus of attention with trade in the U.S., China and Mexico. And I believe that Trump will negotiate a deal that will be beneficial to both sides. There's no question there are problems with trade of these countries, too much in terms of exports going to these countries and then imbalance with the U.S. I believe they'll reach a good agreement and therefore we're focusing on those two countries to look for bargains to begin with. So you're, you're looking at opportunities because you truly believe that it won't be a, a spiked deal, it will be a balanced deal a balanced and therefore deal. Mexico is a good place? Exactly. Mexico, you see both countries, Mexico and China have been, sort of been beaten down. Because people say, you know, there'll be problems with the trade war. And, of course, with China, people are worried about the, the whole financial system and so forth. So I believe that some of these stocks in these countries have been beaten down too far. And there's good opportunity. Such as? Can you give some names? For example, uh, if you look at the Internet-related stocks, and I'm not talking about the Alibabas of this world, but other Internet-related stocks in China. Like Baidu uh, or Sea? Baidu or any one of those are really interesting because they're growing at a fast pace and there's been some hesitancy in, in buying those. In Mexico, I think you've got to look at the consumer-oriented stocks, uh, the Walmex or other stocks that are related to consumers, simply because the flow of funds going into Mexico is not going to stop. You're going to still have remittances going in at a high pace. I promised our viewers that not only would you talk about regions and names, but sectors. And it was something we discussed on the panel. Yeah. Sam Zell had his own ideas of which sectors. You know, he talked a lot about the robotic world, etc. But what sector, which sectors do you feel are poised to really do well with a longer tail, 10 years out, from now till a decade from here? Well, I mentioned with Sam the robotics yes, area. Correct. That's I'm one sorry. area he did, where he, I He really... talked about automated driving. Right. And I believe that it's not necessarily uh, companies that produce robots but companies that are utilizing robots to their advantage, whether it be in retailing, whether it be in manufacturing, in whatever sector. So we're looking at those companies that are going to be capable of utilizing this technology. For example, recently I visited a company in northern Brazil that produces plastic shoes, of all things. And you think, wait a minute, plastic shoes in Brazil? Why aren't they doing this in China? But this company is very efficient using robots and they're building a huge robotic controlled warehouse where all of the packages will be automatically is this a publicly uh, traded company it's a publicly What's traded it company i can't tell you who it is <laughs> i tried i tried you guys I tried. Um, okay but then let's talk we, about we may be buying some of these so we got to be careful i understand so you don't want to have people <laughs> rushing in at the moment right. tell us after you buy it okay, okay. Uh, please give me your impression about the drama in D.C. I changed at the last second, and, and the SALT people were very nice about this, but I asked if we could change the title. It was just investing in emerging markets for our panel, and right. I said, let's do investing around the D.C. drama. Yeah. But what do you make of what's going on in Washington, I D.C.? I think it's, it's so much fluff and uh, so much uh, misleading information that's coming out. And I believe for people overseas, they either ignore it or they get confused. And I think the market generally is confused, which is why the volatility has sort of slowed down because people really don't know what kind of decisions to make. I think this will all blow over. I think. Uh, you mean the very, President Trump? Yeah. Uh, I think it's very Russia good. Connections. Yeah. Very good that they've had the special prosecutor appointed because hopefully he'll get to the bottom of this quickly so that Washington will move on. It's very important. Mark Mobius. We, we couldn't agree more because our viewers care about tax reform, infrastructure, exactly. health care reform. It helps the portfolios when you know where exactly. to go if something's going to happen. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's